Hi everyone, my name is Steph Wolfley and I'm a marketing advisor here at La Trobe University. So whether you're here in this session today because you're wanting to upskill or reskill, uh, perhaps you're looking for a career change, or maybe your secondary education was quite some time ago, whatever the reason is, we are here to help you find a pathway into your dream course. We're also here to help support you studying at a university level. And I will go through the many supports available to people who have returned to study after a break from formal education shortly. It is more achievable than you may think and it's never too late to make the change and return to study. It can be a little bit daunting or overwhelming though and perhaps you aren't quite sure if you'll be eligible for the course that you're wanting to apply for. Let me assure you though that there are many students at our regional campuses that have returned to study and they've been able to gain entry into a course with their previous work experience, life experience or their TAFE and VET qualifications. You may also be eligible for some credit for your previous study. Our regional team of future student advisors are here to help every step of the way with determining if you're eligible for a course based on your work background or educational background or finding a pathway that's suitable for you and your circumstances. Many of our students who have returned to study have utilised the abundance of support services that we have on offer here at La Trobe. Some of these support services include academic preparation and study skills, such as the One Step Ahead program, which is a workshop that can help teach you to academically write essays and learn to reference correctly. We also have peer learning advisors who are current La Trobe students further advanced in their studies that generally sit up in the library and can assist students, new students, students who have returned to study, um, point them in the right direction with their work uh, and their essays. We also have our careers and employability team that are there to assist you with resume writing, interview tips, internships and networking opportunities. Ask La Trobe and the library staff are also there to assist you with accessing library references and your go-to for any current student inquiries, such as uh, if you need more information on your study plan, what subjects that you need to select for your course, they are always there to assist. We also have student wellbeing and counselling support services. Scholarships and grants is also another really valuable uh, tool that can assist students returning to study and support them juggling their study, work, family commitments. So I highly recommend that you have a look at the scholarships page on the Latrobe website and have a look at the different scholarships and different criteria that are available and what you might be eligible to apply for. We also have many clubs and societies available to Latrobe students. This is where you can meet people with similar interests to you, make new connections and make new friends at university. At La Trobe, we also have wonderful teaching staff, our lecturers, our professors. They want to help you, they want to see you succeed in your course and they're always accessible to you. Usually a return to study means that you will need to balance your personal, family, work commitments along with your study commitments. This is where part-time study options and blended learning uh, can be useful to students who are looking for more flexibility in their course. Part-time study options may mean that you pick up two subjects per semester instead of a full-time study load of four subjects per semester. And blended learning means that a lot of our courses offer options for face-to-face -face learning as well as some online learning, some tutorials and some workshops. We also have degrees that are delivered fully online. So this might be something that is of interest to you if it fits in with your current personal circumstances. You may also be eligible for a Commonwealth Supported Place and the HEX Help Scheme. This means that the government picks up a portion of your fees and you pay the student contribution amount. In addition, the HEX Help Scheme allows you to defer your fees until your income reaches a certain threshold. There is a lot more information on Commonwealth Supported Places and the HEX Help Scheme on the Study Assist Government website. And finally, the application to study at La Trobe can be completed uh, through VTAC or UAC or direct to La Trobe University. If you are wanting to apply direct to La Trobe University, it is a straightforward online application process. Make sure you check the relevant course page on the La Trobe website for the stated prerequisites. For non-year 12 applicants, you will need to demonstrate proficiency equivalent to the stated year 12 prerequisites. 
It is a good idea to have any supporting documentation saved and ready to upload with your application. This supporting documentation could include your secondary education, transcripts from certificate for or diploma qualifications, and a personal statement. Other supporting documentation could include stat test results, a statement of service from your employer if you are applying through our work recognition program, and a CES, which is a special consideration application form. Categories for special consideration include personal information and location, disadvantaged financial background, disability or medical condition, or difficult circumstances. If you have looked at the entry requirements for the relevant course page on the Latrobe website, but you are still unsure of your eligibility, our future students advisors will be able to assist. I wish you all the best for achieving your future study and career goals. Just remember, it's never too late to follow your ambition, and it's more achievable than you may have previously thought. Now we're going to hear from one of our wonderful students, Samara, about her return to study after quite a lengthy break and quite a dramatic career change. I've spent the last 15 years working uh, full time in the travel industry, and then I decided to uh, take a bit of a leap and go to La Trobe. Uh, and it was really quite an easy process. I completed year 12, then I went off and studied a travel course at TAFE. The industry that I've come from, there was no more room to grow and I really wanted to find purpose and fulfilment and I felt that nursing for me on a personal level would really allow me to do that. So the advice that I have for a mature age student is honestly just to get in there, give it a go, immerse yourself in the university with the people, the staff, the services, because honestly you can do it, it's very achievable. My perception before I went was that I just thought it was going to be a lot scarier, that people weren't going to be as friendly and that I'd be sort of on my own, that there'd be just lots of partying and no working. It's completely different uh, to what, what I expected and, you know, there's so much support, everybody's, you know, so helpful, uh, the content's fantastic. Uh, it's just, it's completely different to school and I'm blown away by it.